All right, so really quick, I just want to do kind of like a brief, um, but a little bit more in-depth video on a lot of the changes that are coming to phase four. Um, so just to start off, of course, um, we'll be able to raise the level cap to 60 there, but we won't actually be able to do any of the raids, um, even for the new um, instance world bosses. They're, in, they're instance world bosses, Lord Kazakh and the Azure Ghosts. Um, so we'll be able to do those until July 18th, a week later. And then Anixie's Lair and Molten Core won't be available until July 28th, so two weeks later. And then I think a week after that, um, or Within is releasing as well. Um, so we're in for a busy month, it looks like. Um, to top it off, a lot of the cosmetic trinkets are now turning into um, essentially a key ring items so they'll be stored in your key ring rather than in your inventory um, since bag space is pretty precious and then also you'll be able to upgrade your different mounts from Nomergon or from the STV blood moons there to uh, the faster speed mounts if you give them 800 gold plus the original item there so that might actually be cheaper I don't know than I, uh, buying it the old fashioned way um, and then lions are getting the buff, the war cheat, or that the horde get, essentially. Um, and then there's going to be new runes and engravings. Um, that's another thing that they changed here as well, is that some of the some of the old runes have been removed or changed to a different rune, or they've been changed to an actual spell book that you can learn. Um, so for hunters, the uh it's now a spell book for heart of the lion and then the new rune is cobra slayer and then these two runes have been changed that's their old rune their new rune now so now hunters have kill shot and wyvern strike that's pretty cool um paladins your exorcism has been changed to a spell book and the spell book ones you will be able to buy them from your main city there just go to the vendor you'll be able to buy them um they removed the seal of the martyrdom for divine light for paladins um, and they also remove the horde of loner on and now you have hallowed ground as well so it's pretty sweet they've also done some updates to existing runes there where these runes have been changed their new slots um, from mages priest warlock and warrior there all of these spells i wish they would have done rogue rogue could have gotten an update there but maybe they're already op so they're not worried about it <laughs> which is probably true that's okay i'm gonna be playing my paladin so and then looking at the raids here in dungeons um of course azure ghost and lord kazakh will be available there for their encounters um they're 20 player instances but you can go up to 40 players in them so it's scaled for 20 players but you can go up to 40 players if you really want which is pretty cool um i still think you get the same amount of loot so less people you bring there i'm assuming i'm not sure don't quote me on that <laughs> same thing for um anixia's lair is a uh, tune for 20 players up to 40 players to be present there i would hope and like to think that the loot scales up to 40 but i'm not sure um and then for the molten core i don't think this one actually scales up to 40 i i thought it did it doesn't say that i thought it did i'm gonna have to look into that more actually um and then another cool thing here the sunken temple bosses now provide a sizable amount of experience points when killed um, so it looks like going and doing the sunken temple is actually a good way to get a good chunk of experience right when the patch drops there so that'll be pretty cool <coughs> yeah excuse me and then for the molten core raid those drops have been updated new max level dungeon we've seen that and then most of the dungeon creatures over level 55 will now drop a currency there that you can exchange for the vendor at booty bay for exciting rewards this currency drops from each boss once per day for each player in the group. Wow, so you can do every single dungeon <laughs> and get all your drops. So you pretty much have to farm every single dungeon. That'll be interesting. There. And then the dungeon upgrade set item quest will be available in the game start July 11th alongside the launch of Phase 4. Blah, blah, blah. There's a new dungeon. 
a set that you can get, blah, blah, blah. Cool. Sounds good to me. Um, and then world events. So the new event there in Searing Gorge, Black Mountain Mountain and Burning Steps, the Black Rock Eruption. It's going to be available every two hours there, which would be pretty cool. So there'll be new daily quests that you'll be able to get reputation for the Thorian Brothers and the Hydraxian Warlords, which is really awesome. And then participating in each one of these daily quests, they reward players with Fireland Embers. Which can be exchanged with Thorium to create crafted items to upgrade said crafted item into stronger variants. Ooh. Well, this event is active. Players kill, um, award zero honor in the Syrian Gorge of Burning Steps. However, player kills award triple honor inside Black Rock Mountain itself. So that is going to be a PvP hot zone there to farm honor for sure. And then huge change in the Nightmare Incursion. So they're they're removing the repeatability now, so you can only do it one time per day. And then they're setting the level cap at 53 there. So you can do it up to level 53, but they're removing the repeatable stuff that you can do with it. Um, they are adding some extra stuff that once you actually get to max level, um, there'll be other repeatable quests for you to do there if you want to still farm that rep. Um, and then also... The Argent Dawn and Timbermoth faction quartermasters are now allowing players to exchange a base version of their crafted reputation items that were previously offered with some other um, thematically appropriate materials um, for quality epic versions of the same item. Um, these new upgraded items may be purchased at the honored or at honor with Argent Dawn, friendly with the Timbermoth hold, respectively. These items are buying on pickup require the skill profession correlated with the item themselves to be worn that's pretty cool additional words have been added for earning different levels of hydraxian warlord reputation duke hydraxis and ashar will be his well, blah, 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 will make a selection of goods available when players reach honored or better with the hydraxian warlords sweet so a lot of cool new stuff there um it's cool to see <laughs> actually for my class the exorcism is now a spell book item. Um, and yeah, they gave us Aura Mastery, which is cool too, I guess. Um, yeah. Other than that, I think the, uh, I think phase four is going to be pretty good. Pretty stoked. There's still a lot of, uh, a lot of secrets in the game. I think that's probably one of the main things that I'm excited for. Um, just the different secrets that come out, like, especially with like how the story is unfolding, the different stuff that's happening in the story and how they're kind of taking season of discovery with the story is really cool. It's been, they've been kind of flipping the script and tying it in with retail while at the same time. But yeah. Um, hopefully you guys enjoy the new patch. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Appreciate you guys and hope you have a good day. I'll see ya.